good afternoon. Why are you not your cheerful self today? Nothing. No, I know you. Mom, I'm not going to see my father. Is that why you're not happy today? You see him, he's in Canada. He's, he's very busy. But as soon as he's done, he's coming over to see you. I, we already spoke about that. Since he told us why the composition about our father, and I go to all of my classmates were laughing at me. Ignore them, okay? Don't, 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 don't pay any attention to them. All right, it's my fault. Mom should have told you what your dad looks like. And your dad is, he's tall, he's dark. I don't see my father. Some of my classmates are even calling me a bastard. They called you what? They called me a bastard. No, no, that is totally unacceptable. No one calls my child that. I won't take this lying down. I'm going to have a word with your headmistress. Can you imagine? Can you just, can you just imagine? No, 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 I won't take this lying down. Just no, no. There's nothing good about this afternoon. Uh, what happened? Why are you angry? Why am I angry? One of your pupils called my son a bastard. What? In my school? We don't use such words here. Are you implying that I'm lying? No, madam, that's not what I meant. It's just that it's kind of strange to me. But I promise you we'll look into the matter tomorrow. As you can see, we have closed for today. Just come back with your son tomorrow and you will point at the rascal that called him a bastard. And we will punish them accordingly. Please. Headmistress, I am going to come back tomorrow morning with my son. And if I don't get the appropriate justice, I will withdraw my son from this school and then file a report to the Ministry of Education telling them about the misconduct in this school. No, 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 madam, it's not about this. Of madam. course it has. Madam, come back. Madam. Finally, report to the Minister of Education. Brian, why are you not eating? I've lost my appetite. Why? I don't want to eat this house again since I've not seen my father. My goodness, but I told you. I put up a fight for you today. You should have seen me. Nobody in your school will ever call you that name. What difference does it make? How am I even sure I'm not a pastor? Will you shut up? Your father is in Canada and that's it. I'm tired of hearing that old song. I want to see my father now. What? what, what? How? No, I am not fine at all. You should have seen what happened this evening. Like, he must see his father. What am I going to do? Baby, just look for what to tell him, okay? Make him eat his food. He needs to eat. Are you kidding me? I've, I've talked, I've done everything. It's not working. It's not working. <sighs> You should have seen him this evening. He was so adamant. He wants to see his father. I, I, I don't have a choice. Like, please, can you help me? Just call him and pretend to be his father. Okay. Give him the phone. Just hold on, okay? Ryan? Right. Mm -hmm. Surprise! Your dad wants to speak to you. Hey, Dad. Hmm, hello, son. How are you? I'm fine, Dad. Son, I am sorry I have not been a good father to you because of the nature of my job. But I promise I'll make it up to you, okay? I know. Dad, when are you coming back? Very soon, son. 
You know, my job as a seller doesn't give me time to see you. We're always in the middle of the sea. Dad, do you just say I said? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, son, your mom is very right because I'm a naval doctor. Oh, now I understand. Your mom told me you've not been eaten. Yes, I have not. Son, I want you to do me a favor right now. Go to the dining, finish all your food because daddy will not want to see you. You can skinny when I return. Okay, dad, I. You... Alright, son, bye. Bye, dad. Bye. Bye, daddy. Oh, okay, he's already hung up. Okay, now that we're happy, can we go back to dining and have dinner like a one big happy family? Mm? Mom, I'll have a conversation to my husband. Of course, sure, you can tell me anything. No, I love you. No one called me a bastard. What? You mean no one called you a bastard and you watched me create a scene like that before you've ever had me stress? What is your problem? I was calling you. Really? Shut up! Oh my god. So, oh, what am I supposed to do now? Tell your, your, your headmistress, oh, dear Mrs. Headmistress, you see, my son kind of type her, sort of, you know, fabricated the whole story like nobody really called him a bastard. I fabricated the story just to get your attention. Well, now you have my attention. And now, young man, you are going to fix this. Let's go and eat. What? You mean you made this up? Yes, I made it up so I can see my father. All of the classmates have been talking about their father and me, I don't, I don't know my father's. <sighs> but Brian, you went too far and you must be punished. Do you know what your action could have caused in this school? You'll be the only one to tidy and clean up your classroom for two weeks. Any day you fail to do that, you must be flogged. Don't call me. Don't you dare call me. Now go to your classroom. <sighs> Children of these days can be something else. I'm deeply sorry. I I, I sincerely no 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. You're just being a mother. Understand? Okay. I'm really happy that you understand because I felt really awkward when. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How is business going? Well, it can be better. There's so many things I'm seeing on the shop that they should have been gone by now. Baby, listen, I really need your help. Are you okay? Baby, I'm not okay. I need like 200k right now. Stanley! I just gave you a hundred thousand how many days ago and you already asked for 200,000. Baby, come on. You're shouting. Your girls are here. They're here now. Is it not enough to, for me to shout? What do I look like to you? A cash cow that you can just milk and money will be coming out anyhow? Baby, stop that. It's me. I told you about the business I'm pursuing. What are you saying? I have stuff to do with money. What business is that? You what? don't need to know. Baby, I'm surprising you with this business. Fine. I'm just giving you this money just because I love you. I know. Don't, don't be touching me. I'm serious. It's because I love you, then I will not give it to you. I need to just stop here. Stop. Hello, son. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, yeah. Dad, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm on. Just got one less. Yeah. Late flight, son. Yeah. Daddy, this is your house, son. <laughs> oh, yes. Come on, son. Is that how to welcome your parents who have come all the way from Abuja to see you? No, it's, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just that um, 
Uh, it's, it's a surprise. I wasn't expecting you. They say if Muhammad does not go to the mountain, the mountain will come to Muhammad. Hmm, since you have decided not to pay us a visit in Abuja, we have decided to pay you a surprise visit. Mom, it's, it's not like that. I've just been um, occupied with work. The work we are talking about is my establishment. If you wanted to take up to two weeks break, who is going to query you? Oh, is there something else that is keeping you busy? Mm -hmm. Something? Something like what? Like women, of course. Oh, come on, Mom. That is the reason we came on a Saturday evening. Oh. Because women go to visit their boyfriends on the weekend. And uh, we wanted to see the one that is here. So where is she? Is she in the room or in the kitchen? What are you talking about? What are you still waiting for? That's the kitchen there. Just get up and enter that kitchen and bring her out. Oh, okay. okay, stop. Sorry to disappoint you. There's no one in the kitchen or in the bedroom. I've not even seen any woman at the moment. Alex, what's that? You're not seeing any woman? Wait a minute. Did you say there is no woman in this house? Alex, in this big house? Are you living alone in this big house? Yes, I'm living all alone in this big house. It's time for you. Your son is serious. I told you to freshen up. All right, let me show you to you. Wow, you forgot that we built this house so we know where our rooms are. Okay. Woman, what's wrong with your son? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Who is that? Who is calling you? I said it's nobody. Come on, don't stop this. something nice. Hmm. Hmm. Alex, stop flattering me. Hmm? Go and get married. I am tired of coming to your house to cook for a grown-up man like you. I should be relaxed and wait for my daughter-in-law to serve me food. I haven't found the woman that I love yet. What are you waiting for? Is it that the knife is not sharp or that the user does not know how to use it. You're intelligent, you're smart, you're rich. You are every woman's dream. That's the point, Mom. I haven't found a woman who will genuinely love me for who I am. The women I find are interested in the fact that I'm rich and that my father is a senator. You know what I call it? I call it fake love. But you see, for we women, something must trigger love. Can I ask you a question, Mom? Go ahead. Why do you love that? Because he's intelligent and smart. You see? You found something in him that you love. Hmm. You stayed with him, built a home with him, and today he's a successful man. The women of nowadays, all they care about is money. No. There are still some that are left there that want genuine love. Hmm? I don't want you to continue with this mindset. If not, you will never be able to find a wife. I'll get married when I find the right woman. All right. So when will that be? Soon, Mom. Soon. Meanwhile, is it already? No, it's not. Oh, give it to Missy Marie. You I just went in the power. Okay. 
Let me gauge her. Like, this for me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, are you expecting anyone? Naturally. Go and check. Don't worry. Okay. Right. Hold on. Hey. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Um, Stanley's sister. Excuse me. I'm Stanley's fiancé. Who are you, please? Baby, what is going on? You have a visitor. Oh, really? Um, I, I think there's been, there must have been a mistake. Oh, fiancé? Baby, who is she? So this is the reason you're not picking my calls? Baby, that's the sugar mommy I told you about that I've been disturbing me. What did you say? You heard me right. What did you say? My sugar mommy. How dare oh, you? How dare you? Tell you what? Can you imagine the lot? Did you see that? I'm the lot? witch. You're damn right I'm a witch. I will kill you. After all I've, I've seen. Oh, come off it. You've not done anything for me. I've never loved you. All right? You've been the one chasing me all around. Go and meet the father of your son and leave me alone. You know what? I've had enough. Get out of my house. I'm leaving. And you. Go. Go. I pick to you. Go, 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 go. Leave. Go, madam. I will leave. Thank you. Son? Hi, Mom. Hi. Mom, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Hey, 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 hey. Mommy, I'm not. You won't understand, okay? Mom, don't feel sad. I won't, okay? Because Mommy is what? Mommy is a superhero. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Why have you not got married? I haven't found the right girl. Oh, you haven't found the right girl. People don't stay indoors and they find the right girl. No, you go out and date. I've dated a lot of girls, but none of them are right for me. Marriage is not something you just jump in and jump out. That's not the kind of marriage I want to have. That's why I'm taking my time. I want to do it right. Do you actually know that you're 32? I wonder why you're taking too long a time. Besides, son, are you forgetting that you are the only son? Dad, I still remember my age, and I haven't forgotten that I'm the only son. Take a look at you and mom. You have both been married for 35 years. That's because you got it right. You did it well. Your mom should just give me time. All right. I've heard you. I've heard you, but don't keep too long. Just go out there and get hooked. Son, I hope you remember all that we discussed. Hmm? We need grandchildren. We're not getting any younger, so marry a wife and get us grandchildren. Yes, you can say that again. If you can't get a wife, you let us know. We'll get you one. Really, Dad? If I can't get a woman? Prove me wrong. Go and get yourself a wife. You know what? I think it's time you guys start getting to the airport before you miss your flight. Let's go. Alex, I am rich. If I wanted, I could order a private jet, okay? All we're asking from you is our grandchildren. That's not too much to expect from her son. Honey, don't mind him. He's trying to hide away from the truth. 
That is why he chose to live in Lagos, far from us. Hello, Mom. I run Dad's establishment here in Lagos. Remember? All we are saying is give us grandchildren. Marry a wife and get us grandchildren. Your Excellency. Alright guys, have a safe flight. Give us a big hug. What is wrong with you? Give me that drink. What is wrong with you? Abigail, please give me my drink. Why are you taking this drink? What's happening? Stanley. What about Stanley? Stanley has a fiance. For the past two years, he's been lying to me. To me. And I thought he loved me. How did you know he has a fiance? He confirmed it. He even had a mind to call me. A hag and I should stay away from him. Can you imagine? Don't mind him, okay? You know a hag. You are young and beautiful. Don't worry. Very soon you will find your prince charming, okay? Maybe he's not the right one for you. Doggy, give me! Stop. Stop now. Don't cry, okay? It's over. Do you know what you're doing to yourself? No. Can you imagine? Just this. No, no. I'm done with men. I, I can't keep having heartbreaks. I don't have time for all the, the heartbreaks, the drama, the unpredictability. Look, I don't want any drama, okay? And frankly, I like my life the way it is. Joy, listen. I promise never to break your heart. I love you so much and I cherish you a lot. In you I found love, peace and happiness. My life will be a disaster without you. Baby, please, just accept me and I promise you will never regret it. You know, I don't know, I... Please. Crime to be a single mother. No, I am done. I'm done with men. The whole heartless bunch. I'm so done. So done. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming right away. Okay, I'm coming right away. Mr. Obona. 
Hello, um, sorry. Um, you must be beautiful. I mean, sorry. Joy. Yeah, my name is Joy. Look, you left your wallet outside and that's not safe. She thanked God that someone like me found it. If not, it would have been gone. Yeah, yeah. I thank God it was it was you. <laughs> Alright, just just a minute, let me get it for you. There you go. Um thank you for this. Uh, uh you can pick anything you want here. Um bills on me. <laughs> <laughs> that won't be necessary. I, I own the place. You own this place? Yes, I do. Oh, um, if you don't mind, I, I would like to take you out to dinner. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't feel obliged to want to pay me back. <laughs> it's completely unnecessary. No, I just, I just want to appreciate you. They are very few honest people. <laughs> Tell me about that. Look, I just think dinner is kind of it's a, a bit too much. Please. Okay. 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 Uh, that's fine. I guess it's harmless. Yeah. So dinner by 8 p.m. I will call you before 8 p.m. Oh, no, no. I have something for... You know what? I'll make it happen. All right. That's fine. I have to go. All right. Okay. Actually, fried rice is dry, it's not oily. That's exactly how I like it. And that's why I brought you here. <laughs> you serve the best food in town. <laughs> hmm. So, tell me more about you. <laughs> it's work, work, work. Like, there's nothing interesting over here. Come on, man. Don't say that. Everyone has something interesting about them. Really? Yes. Okay. If you insist, let's see. Um, my name is Joy. I'm from Meadow State. I'm a businesswoman and a single mother proudly. That's it. Wait, you have a child? Yes, I do. And you look this beautiful? I <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Come if you on. Insist. Come on. <laughs> Hmm. Wow. It's not flattering. Okay, okay, okay. So, enough of me. What about you? Okay, um, my name is Alex Obuna, the mm -hmm. son of... I think there's something in my teeth. <coughs> <coughs> mm. Are you okay? Yeah! <laughs> Son of the son of the soil. <laughs> oh my god! What? Why are you laughing? You have a lot of these cheesy lines. Are you serious right now? An evil guy in Lagos State claiming the son of the soil is a bit, you know, is offish. Well, let's just say this evil guy was born mm. and bred in Lagos, but I'm from Abia State, though. No way. Really? Abia State. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I served in ABC during my NYC. You did? Absolutely. Wow, so how was it back then? It was... You know, it, it was um, fun. I guess you can say that the story about Joy's life would be complete without um, Abia State popping up. That's where I met um, <clears throat> the father of my son. So where is he right now? He is... Uh, complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you I like complicated stories? Do you know? <laughs> nah, not this one. So are you saying you're not gonna tell me? Well, let's put it this way. If I have to tell you... This is me. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'd like to say thank you for dinner. I, I had fun. I should be the one thanking you for agreeing to go out with me. 
I also had fun. So, uh, I don't know, do you, if you're like in a hurry, I was just wondering if you would like to come upstairs and share a drink. But if you, if you need to go, like, that's fine. That would be nice. I'd love to have a drink with you. Okay, this way. All right. Um, wow. Out. Very beautiful house. Hi, son. <laughs> Mom, is this my father? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. He's my friend. Hello, dude. I'm not your dude. All I want to see is my father, not you. Brian, go to your room now. Um. I'm deeply sorry. He's usually not like this. It's okay. I understand. He's just been a child. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll get going now, okay? I just... Good to see you again. Yeah. I'm just... Brian, what's that about? Huh? I don't say whether I want to assist my father. Don't you ever speak to me like that again. Do you understand me? I never disrespect any of my guests again. Am I clear? Yes. What's come over you? Hi, man. Hi, welcome. Hello. This is my best friend Silas. Silas, I mean my love. Hello. Hello, you're welcome. Yeah, it's a pleasure. You're welcome. Babe, babe let's go inside. Okay. This guy can never change. Not bad, eh? I'm just coming to your place for the first time and you haven't even offered me a drink. Sorry. So what can I offer you? Um cold yoga will be just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a sec, huh? Okay, fine. Get like 2k for your hand. 2k for what? Abba, that babe says she wants you in your gut, and I know two money like that. I beg. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you laugh? Look at yourself. Look at you. You don't have 2k in the kind woman. Baba, I beg, not for my hand. I beg. I beg. No, beg me. Baba, I beg, not do this kind of thing. I, I said I don't have. I'll be your, I'll be your guy. Silence, sir. <laughs> Silence, sir. Baba, do... You don't start now. No, Silence, Baba, sir. do this thing for me. I'll be your guy now, sure guy. No, be sure guy, Mata. No, be sure guy, Mata. Come on, come on, come on. I go reason with you. My G. Baba, come on. <laughs> what kind of life is this? My guy. God created you on a Sunday because he sure did take out special time. <laughs> Why are you flattering me? <laughs> oh, thank you, I'll see. 
Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for brightening my life. Well, that's quite nice to hear. I know your name and I know many things about you. I see. So please, can you uh, go call your mommy? Okay, uh, you want me to wait outside? Oh. What's wrong with you? Nothing, sir. Why? Are you okay? Yes, sir. I need to go right now. Call our doctor. Baby? Who was that? Nobody. But I could have sworn I heard a knock on the door. Oh, it was our neighbor. Which of the neighbors? The fat neighbor. Oh, what does he want again? He said that he was looking for his dog. His dog is missing? Yeah. Wow. What is that doing here? He said he was thirsty, so I brought him water to drink. In a bowl? Yeah. Okay, you know what, just take it to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it where you saw it. What's up? Man, I'm cool. How's work today? Man, work was good. By the way, Silas, me and my best baby. Debbie, my best friend. Hi. Debbie, it's nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. You're welcome. <laughs> Let me see you over the day. Alright. Okay. Debbie, Bye. take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Guy, what is wrong with you? <laughs> this is the third girl I'm seeing you with this week. Oh, but not my fault, man. Your guy is too hot. Every girl wants a piece of Mr. Oreo. Calm down. Imagine you. <laughs> you don't go die on top of a woman, no. Baba, something must kill him, man. Oh. <laughs> Thank God you have chosen what will kill you. Eh, uh, man, we're young, man. We're young. It's better to live life now. Hi, beautiful. What are you doing here? I, I, I just came to see you and, and I brought this for you. I know that um, it's a little bit too early, but I just want you to know that I've fallen for you and I have deep and sincere feelings. Let me in on it. It's like a general hobby that you guys just agree to look for someone's heart to break and someone's emotions to trample on. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm not like that, though. Oh, please shut up. You men are all sane. So because I agreed to go to dinner with you, you think that you can now sleep with me? Hey, no, 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 no. That's not my intention. So what is your intention, Mr. Intention? 
I just want to love you. So why can't you love me like a sister or a friend? You see this? Take this thing, take yourself, get out of my sight and never return. I mean it. I use yours right now. Okay, so, so, so. So how much is this hair now? It can't be anything left. Abigail, this is not fair. Come and help my ministry. Buy these things now. Don't worry, I will. Well, you know, you, you are. Aren't you going to answer this no, no, call? No, 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 no. Hey, he's not important. Oh, it's a he. Yes, it's a he. So who is the he? <sighs> One stupid guy who wants. Allow me rest. He won't allow me breathe. Why will you talk like this? Just hear him out and know what he has to say. You never know, he just may be the one. Are you serious right now? Joy, I was just saying. I don't hear him out. I don't want to hear it. Me and guys are done. I don't wow. want to hear it. Yeah. Are you buying the items? I don't know if I'm buying. This one you're shouting anyhow. Mom brought a gift for you. Gift? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Trash it. Sorry, ma, I didn't get you. You heard me. Okay, ma. Thank you. There's nothing romantic about it. This guy thinks I'm joking, Abby. He thinks I'm joking. No problem. Hello, beautiful. No, 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 no. Look, 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 look. Listen. I told you to stop disturbing me. What is your problem? So just because I, I, I agreed to have dinner with you, you won't start stalking me. Look, I'm not going to warn you again. Keep your gifts to yourself. Wait, wait, hold on, babe. Just calm down. I, I... Hello? She hung up the phone on me without even hearing me out. Rubbish. Aren't you taking this thing too far? Are you going or not? Open the door for me. Don't see what someone did for you and you're just... Doing here? Oh, last time I checked, this is a supermarket, and everybody's allowed to shop at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. You know, you look very beautiful when you frown, but you look more beautiful when you smile. Mm -hmm. ah.
quite that. What is it? So there's this story I was reading about newlywedded couples, huh? <laughs> According to the story, okay. this lady, mm -hmm. a single mom, was deceived by her baby daddy. Okay. Yes. So she had practically given up on love. Then this guy came in. This girl rejected him. But he was wise enough, clever enough, to go through her son. Got to the boy's heart, and now they're married. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh -uh. He said he won her son's heart. Yes. And they are, now they are now a couple. Mm -hmm. Did he marry her son? Man, don't be silly. Silas, uh, if I can understand what you said, you said she practically rejected the man. Yes. The guy now won the son's heart, and now they are a couple. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me. Let me lecture you about single mothers. 95% of single mothers are suffering from heartbreak from their baby daddies. So these kids are like a compensation from that heartbreak. That's why you see single mothers carry these kids like eggs. These kids are practically trophies to them. So if you can succeed into getting the hearts of these kids, automatically you have won these mothers. <laughs> oh, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar, this is your philosophy no clear for my eye. <laughs> it's not my philosophy, it's a fact. <laughs> okay, I don't have much reasons to doubt you. Coming from someone that studied womanology. <laughs> Come on, guy. I believe you, bro. You should. I believe you. You should. Be. I believe you, bro. You should. Be. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, here the report. Yeah, yeah, can be there. Boss, you look worried. Is everything okay? Huh? I'm sorry, I said you look worried. Is everything okay? Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Oh. Um, Silas. Yes, boss. Please sit down. Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. If you're in love with a girl and she's not responding, what will you do? If you truly love her, and you're certain there's no man in her life at the moment, you don't have to give up. If she finds out that you genuinely love her, she may give in to your request. The lady in question actually has a son. Is she living with the father of the son? Uh, no, she said it's complicated. Now I understand. Boss, if you want to win a single mom's heart, you have to go through the child. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, that boy, he doesn't like me. <laughs> He's a no-go area. <laughs> no, it's not funny. I mean it. The last time I was there, he poured cold water on me. What? <laughs> I'm sorry that I laughed. I think he's just being a stubborn kid. How old is he? No, he's 10 years old. You see? He's just acting like a kid he is. Do you by any chance know what he likes? Hello? I'm almost home. OMG, uh, Brian, I forgot. No, I... Hello? He hung up. Um, who is he? My son. I, I promised to get him PS4 and I... I forgot. I forgot. Oh, okay, um, let's just look for where to buy it around, okay? Tonight? Now? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I mean it's not too late. We can still find a couple of shops open. No, 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 no. That would take a lot, like driving around and and it's pretty late. We could do that tomorrow morning. Perfect. That's what we're going to do. Hey, what's up? The movie sweet? Yes, sir. Sweet. Okay, let me join your watch. Hey, Oscar, that reminds me. My boss has similar issues uh, about the story he told me last week. Which story? Have you forgotten? The story he told me about a single mom that got married to a guy she rejected because uh, the guy won the son's house. Oh. So what about that? My boss told me the same thing. And the worst part of it is that the lady don't want to see him. So what did you tell him? Trust me now, I gave him your philosophy. As a matter of fact, we are drafting our plans on how to see the boy. I pray it works because that my boss is the correct guy. I know it comes in terms of a woman issue. I don't normally doubt <laughs> You know now, now I walk. <laughs> I can't wait. Now I walk. Hi, how are you? My name is Silas, and I'm here to deliver this package to you. What did my mom send you? Not your mom. An admirer sent me to give you this piece. Who is the admirer? He wants to remain anonymous. I wish I can see him and thank him. Are you sure if you see him, you won't fight him? How will I fight a person that gave me something I cherished for? That means you have to promise me that you won't fight. I won't fight him. Okay. You can come in now. What are you doing here? Brian, you promised me not to fight. Hi, Brian. Hello, Brian. I want you to be very nice to me, okay? I like you very much and I want to be your friend. I'm sorry I put you cold water. Gaffa. What's up, man? Uh, You're welcome. You're back so soon? Yeah. So it's just me, how did it go? <clears throat> it wasn't a small thing, you know. I gave the boy the PS. He was happy and excited. I told him it was given to him by Anonymous, and he insisted that he must know this Anonymous. I have to signal my boss. My boss came, and this boy said, Gingering, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And my boss, being a gentleman, he started begging. You know, finally, finally, he accepted my boss into their house. And I was so happy. Correct. I pray it works because my boss truly loved that lady. Baba, tell your boss me go to print wedding card. You mean I'm prof? I said I can beg my life. Eh? See this girl, your boss won't take her. Except since your boss no want her again. No, I, I don't need to doubt you. You know, when it comes in terms of woman issue, you're number one. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> you're an idiot. I swear, you're you number walk. one. You go walk. I pray. It don't work for me. Hey, son, how are you? Hi. It's Alex. May I see you for a minute? Oh, okay. Please? All right. I'll be back and I'm going to win you. What are you doing? Oh, we're playing on PlayStation football. You want to join us? What kind of game do you think you're playing? 
It's not going to work on me. Now I suggest you leave my house. Why are you doing this? Can't you see that I care about you? Just get out of my house, please. Okay. Right. I'm going, okay? Please, can you play one more time? Oh, you want me to play one more? Oh, okay. Uh, no, let me, let me just go. I'll come another time, okay? We'll play, all right? Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Hey, Brian. <laughs> How are you? Oh, let me pick you up. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Mom, I'm going to pick you up. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? My mom is having issues. No, we just have a minor misunderstanding. And we'll sort it out like adults, okay? Okay, then what is in the pony bag? I have... Ice cream! How do you mean I love ice cream? Well, I told you I know a lot of things about you. And I just bought you ice cream because when I defeat you in this game, I don't want you feeling bad. In your dreams? In my dreams? Hmm. If I win, I'll ask you to do anything and you will do it. And if you win, you ask me to do anything and I'll do it. I like that. Deal? Deal. Let's do this. All right. Ah! Oh, what? Okay, so you're doing what I did to you, right? Okay. Okay. Hey. Brian, your lunch is served. Now? But I have to look at it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Why didn't you bring food for Uncle Ali? Um, because I, I didn't think he, he was hungry. Yeah, he's been here since morning. Uh, you know what? Um, we're family, right? So why don't you uh, go and bring a spoon? Let's eat together. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not ashamed of yourself? Really? Love knows no shame. <sighs> Did you? Thank you. Okay. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Before we start eating, we're going to eat one after another. Because I don't want you to cheat me the way you cheated me in the game. Maybe you're so full. Yeah, right. Okay, so me first. Okay, so this one's still here. And. Mm. Mm. This is so delicious. Mm. Mom is the best cook in the world. Oh, really? I can, I can taste it. Okay, this is your turn now. Oh, you see what I mean now? Can't you see your own was very big? It's bigger than my own. You're always cheating. All right, it's my turn. Mom, why did you quarrel with Uncle Alex? I'm not quarreling with him. Why do you ask? Because of your attitude to him. It's advisable that 
you don't give strangers access to your house. Um, but they said he has a friend. Yeah, I, I mean, like, look, that's not the point. No, but I like him. I know you like him, but we have to apply caution for our safety, okay? And that's why I, I'm, I have to stop him from coming to, to our house. No, but I like him. Oh, please don't stop him from coming to our house. Okay, I guess we could, um, you know, bend, bend the rule. Fine. I will not stop him from coming to our house, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll go to bed. I want to tell him to stop coming to the house, okay? But I don't want to hurt my son's feelings. Why do you want him to stop coming to the house in the first place? Because, <laughs> duh. I don't trust him. I don't know what his intentions are. You don't trust him? No. Babe, that's a lie. Like, that's a lie from the pit of hell and you know it. What is a lie? The only reason you want this guy to stop coming to the house is because you're falling for him. <laughs> yes, and you know it. Hell no. See, after everything you did to this guy, he still shows up and cares for your son. Like he's his own. Come on, just give this guy a chance. First of all, you're only saying this because you've never had your heart broken once, not even multiple times. That's why you can say this. You think I don't understand No, that you part. don't. You think so? You don't understand. Listen, you have, you have fallen already. I'm coming. Hi, I uh, came to see my friend, Brian. Well, Brian, your friend, is on an excursion with his classmates. Oh. I'll tell him you came. Bye. Wait, 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 hold, hold on. Um, I'd like to have a word with you, if you don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Oh, uh, your hair is very nice. Uh, uh, that's both straight now. Uh, sorry. <sighs> Babe. The truth of the matter is that I have fallen in love with you. And all I want you to do is just give me a chance to prove that love. Mr. Alex, if this is all you can tell me, I'm not interested. Please, leave. You know, no matter how much you try to hide it, your eyes will still show me that you love me. <laughs> oh God, this is ridiculous. You have optical challenges and you don't even know it. What you need is an optician not coming to visit me. Look at me in the eye and tell me you don't love me. And I promise you, I'll go and I'll never disturb you again. <laughs> Mr. Alex, I... I don't do anything what so <clears throat> please we should go I'm sorry I didn't mean for you to go this way oh please. Don't flatter yourself. I was the one who willingly gave myself to you. Why do you look so unhappy? Because I've let myself stupidly fall in love with you. But I love you too. <laughs> Isn't that what they always say, huh? They break your heart. Not so. I'm not like them. Aren't you? I'm different. Are you? You should trust me. Well, guess what? I don't. Miss Ivy, let's, let's, let's not be excited over here, okay? Let's not be narcissistic. This isn't about you. It's about me, okay? It's about the curse, the fate. True love and I, nah, it's not gonna happen. 
Don't Don't say that. He he talked about fate, curse. Is there something about your past you want to tell me about? No. Please tell me about your past. No. Why won't you just go and leave me? I just want to know. Fine. I came from a poor background, okay? But there was something I always knew. I wanted to go to school. I wanted to get an education. And I knew that the only way I was going to achieve my purpose, I did wrong. Yeah, I dated married men. So, while I was serving my NYC in Abia State, I met this, this top shop, this big politician who who got me pregnant and he sent me to Canada to have my baby and said that when he was all grown up he would come back and get us and and blah 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 right now young men my age when they see me all they see is a single mother who is a cash cow and the older men when they see me they see a pretty girl who can be their third or fourth or fifth wife I had no idea that that decision to have changed my life the way it did, to have impacted me the way it has done my, 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 my future, my present. I didn't expect to be in a prison and I don't okay. know what okay. to do. I just... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. Look at me. Just look at me. I don't care about your past. <laughs> yeah. I care about your present and your future with me. Yeah, whatever. Everyone makes mistakes. No one is perfect. Yeah. That's what you're saying now. I'd never judge you with your past. That's what you're saying now. I'm crazy about you. You don't understand that I want to see you every single day. I want to sleep at night knowing that when I wake up in the morning, you're by my side. Did I tell you that you have the most beautiful smile I've seen? I care. I want you. Every single day of my life. That pieces of fabric, we have to use this particular gum for this one. Even if you use this one, you're going to litter this fabric all around the house, and you know how much I hate it. All right, so after we do this one, we're going to do this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, how are you? Guess what? I bought you chocolate. Wow, yeah, you like chocolate? Yes, yes. Oh, so. I don't understand. It's just Brian that deserves chocolate. Oh, come on now. He's a child now. Mm -hmm. An adult. You don't need it. Meaning that adults don't deserve chocolate. Okay, that's fine. You can have a conversation with yourself. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's not what I mean, young lady. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. I promise that next time I'm coming, I'll get you a gift. Mm. Yes, sir. Happy now? <laughs> Very. <laughs> so, um, I need to tell you something. Okay. I... I think that, um, <clears throat> you know, whew, four weeks pregnant. What? What did you say? I'm four weeks pregnant. Yes! Come here! Oh my god! Are you oh my god! You what? You oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, cool. Wait, hold on. Did I hear you, bro? You're four weeks pregnant? I'm four weeks pregnant. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Oh, man. Oh, this is so good. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I think you and Brian can just um come over. Just, just spend like a week or the weekend in my place. Or maybe two uh, weeks. Or maybe like a month or something. No, no, no. So, just, wait, wait. So, I'm going to be a father. Yes. I'm going to be a father. Yes, yes. <laughs>
Why are you so happy? And it's all thanks to you, you know? Like he's completely, literally forgotten about his father's absence since she showed up. I'm say thank you. <laughs> Brian is like a son to me. Aww. I love him so much. I've I've really, really grown to get fond of him. It's just a pity that someday his biological father will come and take him away. Don't say that. Brian is always going to be a part of us. So don't talk like that. I guess you're right. I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. You called me, I should hurry up and come. I'm here now and you're smiling like someone that won lottery. <laughs> What's up? Ha. What now? I'm getting married. Oh my God. <laughs> right. You're getting married. This is beautiful. <laughs> okay, tell me. Tell me everything. How did it happen? He took us to his house oh. and then we, we, we got in and then I started to see stuff on the floor, decorations. Oh. And I saw balloons. Oh, they want me thin. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Will you marry me? And oh. then he kissed me. I'm like, oh. And Brian was there. Like, oh my oh, God. Oh, he was? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, that must have been very romantic. It's so romantic. Wow, right? girl, yeah. I'm happy. Let me look at that again. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I know you. Hmm. I told you, I told you. To give this guy a chance. <laughs> Whatever, Jerry. So my friend is getting married, huh? I am. Okay. I am. Made of honor duty, no gym. <laughs> you have a wedding to plan. We have a wedding. Huh? Silas, please come to my office right away. Boss? Good afternoon. Yes, uh, please sit down. Thank you, sir. Proposed to Joy and she accepted. That means I'll be married very soon. That's good. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Oh, but more thanks to you for your fantastic idea. If not, I would have still been chasing shadows. <laughs> and to show you how much I appreciate you, I got you something. Boss, this is a khaki. Did you see the black Toyota Camry parked outside? Yes, I did. It's all yours. Wow, thank you, boss. I'm not a car owner. Yeah. Uh, boss, can I go check it? Get out of here before I change my mind. Oh, life. wow, thank <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> Talking about family, where is our wife? Yes. Uh, she's in her house. In her house? Why is she not here? Because I didn't tell her to come. Why? Even at that, she ought to be here because she's pregnant for you. <sighs> Mom, let's just say we are taking things step by step. Step by step. What does that mean? I mean, we want to be married first before she moves in. Come on, come on, son. It doesn't matter. Both of you can live together. And then you plan your wedding. Okay? Okay, no problem. Um, but there's something you must know. No, son. You can't marry her. It's not possible. She's a single mother. Why? Because society sees them as second-hand material. Mom? Yes! What do you want people to say? 
that the son of a former governor and a sitting senator is getting married to a, a, a single mother. Ah! How will that sound? What do you want people to say? Mom, what, what, what are you saying? Dad, you're not even saying anything. Son, Mom is right. <sighs> okay, so you, you want to trade my happiness for, for what people will say, right? I love this girl very much. And everybody has a past. Let's not judge her with her past. Please. I think our son is right. Alexander, do you really love this girl? With all my heart. Then bring her home. <laughs> Hello, babe. Guess what? My parents are here and they want to meet with you. Are you sure about this? You know my single mother. Do you think they'll accept me? I've already told them about you and they've already accepted you. Oh, God. Jesus, are you serious? Yes. My God, what am I ever going to do without you? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I love you more. So prepare yourself. You're coming to see them tomorrow, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> No need to be nervous. My parents are loving people. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, um, where are they now? They'll be here any moment. Oh, okay. here they are. Mom, Dad. Uh, yeah, so that's my mom, uh, Mrs. Amelia Bonner, and my dad, Senator. <laughs> Maybe because I didn't reveal my true identity to her, she's angry. I have to go after her. Honey, you're not saying anything. What do you expect me to say? I mean, we are, we're all surprised. Please, hold on, hold on. Just hear me out. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about my identity. I should have let you know that Senator Dennis is my father. But I, I didn't want you to love him for my family background. I just wanted you to love me for who I am. That is not the issue. What's the issue? Oh God, I'm... I'm... Mom, please talk to me. What's, what's wrong? Your father is... Oh my God, is... My son's biological father. What? So that, that, that means you and Brian. Oh God. You guys are half brothers. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mom, you know, brother Alex's father is my father. Dad. Why didn't you tell us that you had a son all this while? Hmm? Son? What are you talking about? Ask him. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Dennis, what is Alex talking about? Oh, you can't talk again. He's the biological father of Joy's son. What? Dennis, tell me this is not true. Daisy, I'm sorry. You're sorry. 
Oh my God. I thought I knew my husband. Very, very sorry. You are very, very sorry. So tell me, how many children do you have outside? Honestly, sir, it's, it's one. Just one child. Just one. See the way you say it. So why didn't you tell me about it? Why? It was during the governorship election ten years ago. I didn't want anything to jeopardize my chances of becoming governor. So I decided to keep it a secret until the child grows up. Bravo, Dad. Bravo. Well done. You've done well. Did you listen to yourself? You decided to keep it secret until the boy grows up. You didn't deem it fit to tell me. I am disappointed in you. Very disappointed in you. And I want to tell you that you pay for it. I, Emilia, will make you pay for it. you do this to me? How? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Will your sorry change the fact that you have a son by another woman and the fact that that woman is our son's fiancé? Will it change that fact? Of course it will do it. I know what I did was wrong, very wrong. I wish I could turn back the hand of time. What will I do to get your forgiveness? <sighs> Mom, you call me here. Yes, please sit. I called for this meeting. For us to sit as a family and discuss. Son, your father has hurt us badly. In fact, he betrayed our trust. But somehow along the line, he has apologized. And as a woman that wants to keep her home, I have accepted his apology with one condition, that he will never do it again. And somehow he has proven to be truly sorry for what he did. So he behoves us as a family to forgive him. And another thing, your father and I have reached the conclusion that you will not marry that girl. What? Yes. Do you want to marry your father's mistress? Your father's baby mama? The woman who defiled your mother's matrimonial home? Do you? Alex, I think this whole thing has brought so much shame to us. We don't want to smear it further, do we? She's with my child. Don't blow the care. She can have the baby for you, but she's not welcome into this family. Period. Son, I am truly sorry that I, I ruined your chances of being with the one you truly love. 
that you see, under the present circumstances, we must do the right things now. Hello, Brian. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I want to speak to your mom. Can you give me a few minutes? How do you think? My parents want us to call off the engagement. So, what do you want, Ben? After. A deep thought, I, I think that's the best decision. <sighs> yes, you're right. Take care of you and our child. I have to go. Brother Alex, when am I going to see our father? <laughs> you know what? Why don't you go inside and get your things and let's go see him. Okay, now you're going to sit close to daddy. Daddy, <laughs> when do you return from Canada? Canada. Sam, see, we have quite a lot to discuss. Of course we do. Ah, uh, Brian, uh, let me take you to your room. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Canadian man, when did you return from Canada? You think I didn't hear you? Anyway, the boy is so cute and charming. Oh yes, he's a true son of his father. You will still pay for betraying me. Come on, Emily, yeah? I thought we've gone past that. Well, it's easy to forgive. Or very difficult to forget. I'm trying to forget. Emily, please come back. You see, we do not know uh, what God has proposed through this. Remember, years back, when you had complications arising from the birth of Alex, the doctor warned you never to conceive again. But well, that does not give you the right to cheat on me. Not to talk of betraying me and having a child behind me. See, the deed has already been done. 
I'm only praying that, that you accept Brian as your son. Little Brian is innocent. And of course, I have already accepted him as my son. If not, both of us will not be sitting here to talk. What's it in you? Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. No, you are not. Hello, Dad. Hello, boy. Come on here. How are you? I'm fine. All right. Now I, I want you to go inside. I have to talk to your brother, right? Okay, then. Good. Alex, I know I've hurt you maybe deeply, very deeply, but you have to learn to forgive me, okay? I'm still your father. Oh, come on, Alex. Alex, talk to me. I have nothing to say to you. eating your food. I'm not hungry. Come on, son. You haven't eaten since yesterday. I don't have appetite. You've got to eat something before you develop ulcer. Mom, stop acting like you care about me. None of you cares about me. Stop it, Alex. You know we care about you. No, you don't. Because if you did, none of you would take away my happiness. Come on, son. We did not take away your happiness. We're just doing things. We need to do things right for the family. What family? This family? A family you betrayed? This is all on you, Dad. You took advantage of her because she knew she was poor and couldn't resist your offer. Son. What is it, Mom? Son? Brian? Why are you not eating your food? How can I eat you when my brother is not eating? And, and I don't even know how my mom is feeling right now. This day has been haunting me for a very long time and... What happened? Now I know what it feels like. Make me understand now. What are you talking about? Hmm. Alex's father. What happened to Alex's father? Alex's father... is Senator Dennis. <sighs> Senator Dennis as in Senator Dennis? Hmm? Senator Dennis. My son's father. No. Mm. No. Mm. No way. Yes, yes. Okay, so what are they saying about it? They don't want anything to do with me. They want him to call off the engagement. Of course, who wants anything to do with me? Who would want anything to do with me? Oh God. I'm so sorry. It's it's okay. See, just calm down, okay? We'll think of something. We'll, we'll, something has to be done about it, okay? Just don't cry. I, I don't want you hurting your unborn baby, please. It's okay. Girl, don't cry. It's okay. Alex, see what you're doing to yourself. Give me my drink. 
Let me take away my drink. Give me my drink. No, I won't give it to you. You took away my happiness. Now you're taking away my, my drink. That's my only friend. Give it to me. Son, I don't hate you. I love you. No, you don't. You only have taken away my happiness. Give it to me. Can't you see that that woman is not meant for you? She's not. Mom, I love that girl so much. Just go away. Go. Go away. Go away. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Just take a look at herself. Yeah. It's a mess. If you had controlled that thing that is in between your legs, it wouldn't have happened this way. I want to warn you that if anything happens to our son, if anything happens to our son, I will hold you responsible. Please calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. If we allow them to marry, but keep Brian a secret, that means no one will suspect that I am his biological father. So what will Brian call you? Uncle? <laughs> I will tell Brian to be calling me Big Daddy. While he calls Alex here, Daddy. That means Alex covers up or doubles up as his father, the father figure. No one will suspect that I am the biological father. Hmm. Okay? See, Ani. Why don't we let them go ahead and make marriage preparations? In fact, ultimately get married. That's, that's, that's a good thing to hear. <clears throat> uh, Brian, why don't you go put on the game? Let me beat you. Are you ready for me? Go put it on. I found something that belongs to you. Not anymore. Are you saying you don't love me anymore? You promised. You promised you would never judge me by my past. That you always wanted to wake up beside me for the rest of your life. You promised and then you me at the drop of a hat and you never look back. I'm sorry. Alex, leave my house. Being without you has made me realize that I can't live without you. Leave my house. Please hear me out. You have five seconds. I've made mistakes and I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to make up for those mistakes. Please forgive me for the sake of our love and our unborn child. That was 10 seconds. Hey. What? I still love you and everything I said, every promise I said, I intend to keep it. I still want to grow old with you. You know what? Look me in the eye and tell me you don't love me. And I promise I'll never bother you again. I don't. Marry me. I can't. 
can't. Why? Your family, your parents, it would never accept me and I can't do that. I can't, I can't deal with that. What if I told you they've already accepted you? What? Wow. You're surprised, <laughs> right? Well, let's just say our love is made in heaven. Joy Ramoselli. Will you marry me? I can't believe this. On one condition. That you will never hurt me again. Ever. Never. <laughs> <laughs> 